guys who see here. So uh, you have a new computer, a new PC, a new laptop, as you can see on my screen. Okay, now there is this tedious task of installing softwares one by one once you have your new machine. For example, I have a uh, set up a Windows Unbox here to demonstrate this. Now, uh -huh, you can see my software. If I go to the start menu here, you can see the software that I have. That's what I have. Now, you need to start getting softwares to run your day to day activity. Now, the usual way you do is that you open whatever browser you have, you start searching whatever you want. So, let's say uh, you want Chrome. You do your Google search, Chrome, then download Chrome. Uh -huh. So you get, you download your Chrome. There it is. Download that Chrome, install. Done with that. Let's say you want another application. Let's say VLC. So search. Search for your VLC. Okay, let me verify this, first of all. So uh, I hope you're getting the idea of where I'm going to. So basically what happens is uh, you keep on searching for all the software that you need to install until you are done. So you install them one by one, one by one, until your system has all the software that you need to run your day-to-day -day activity. So there it is, you go to download VLC and that. So what if I tell you there's an easy way of installing all the packages that you need with just one download. So yeah, with just one download. Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, now I'll just open a new tab here. So there is this site that you need to visit. This is ninite.com. Let me repeat that again. N-I-N-I-T-E.com. Let's visit that site and see. So there we are. This is the Nanite. So this software, uh, this website allows you to create a package for the software that you need. So for example here, so web browsers, I want Chrome. I want Brave. The messaging. I want Zoom. Let's say I also need Team. The media player is here. I need VLC. Uh, scroll down here. Document readers. Say I need a uh, uh Scroll again here for file sharing. Let's say I want this uh, QB torrent. Uh, online storage. I need Dropbox and I need Google Drive. Again, scroll for developers. Most of the time we use the Visual Studio Code. There we are. So you select all the apps that you need. Okay, for utilities here, I'll do any desk and uh, maybe Team Viewer there. So just select all the software that you need that we have done. You just do click on the check boxes. And when you're happy with what you selected, what you simply do now is you just come down here and you click on this get your nanite. So click on get your nanite. So what will happen is I download a simple file will be downloaded. This is it. So just save it the way it is. And uh, if you go to your download folder now, you have a small file here or an executable file, which is the size of uh, 416 kilobytes, as you can see. But if I open this small exe file, this file will install all the programs that I need. So let me show you what. So just double click on this. I'll click. And uh, these should start installing all the softwares that we selected. So let's give it a minute to load. So basically what will happen is that uh, it will connect to the internet and start downloading those packages for you and install them for you without you having to do anything at all. So let's give it a minute to think and process. So let me know if you have any easy way of installing packages on your machine. So you'll get this warning that uh, when you get this warning from the smart screen, just click on 
run don't be afraid there is no bug or there is no any virus so there it is it is preparing a setup and it will connect to the internet and it will start downloading the EC. So remember the first package that we selected as well was Chrome. Uh, you can see it is downloading uh, Chrome for you, then it will install Chrome. So if I click on show details here, you can see all the application that I selected. You can see Chrome is what is downloading now, then it will go to Brave and all that. So it will go through all the list until it downloads all the software that we selected. Now the good thing with this is once you click this you are nanite once you create your nanite you can save this nanite and you can use it in any machine to install the packages that you need in future. So this is the easiest way of doing this. You don't have to go do one Google Google search for one software, install, search for another, install, search for another, install. So this saves time for you and makes the process as easy and as smooth as possible. So thank you guys. If you like the content that I'm putting out, kindly share, subscribe, give it a thumbs up so that I'll be encouraged to do uh, more content. Okay, so let me know uh, in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like me to tackle next. So I'm waiting to see if this Chrome installs so that uh, the doubting Thomases will be able to see how it works. So let me pause this video, then we come back. So you can see the download for Chrome is done. And you can see now we are on the installing step. Now this will be auto again.